ProVision Mentorship is one of several strategic focuses of ProVision Solutions, Inc. I'm Jim Ewing, and mentorship can make a difference. This is one of several interviews with those who've experienced mentorship. Learn from their experiences. Then take a moment and share your experiences on our blog, ProVision Mentorship. Mentorship is what got me where I am today with my writing. My experience is that I've been mentored by uh, a gentleman when I was writing Business for Beginners. And, and that allowed it to be uh, become successful because he looked at the first four chapters and he said, go back and rewrite it and put yourself into it. He said, you're writing like a journalist because I'd been doing a lot of columns. And I was so upset. What's wrong with my writing? It's full of good stuff. He mentored me to the point he turned all my writing around to the where the book became easy for people to relate to because a one-on-one, -on -one, we need to be able to relate to people in a simplified version. No use me throwing big words at you if you don't know what they mean. So down to earth. And then in turn, I have been a mentor, I've mentored a lot of people, and the inner success from that is, is so very rewarding, from formal programs to informally mentoring. Mentoring to me, or being mentored, is, is, is key towards a new person starting a business. What type of help can a mentor provide? When you are starting a business, or even you started your business, in many cases, you're super passionate about it. You, I always really compare it to people that, who have blinkers on, like the, the racehorses. You cannot peripherally see all the other aspects of business. So you also, you're passionate about it, you have your own ideas. You also are very alone in a lot of cases. So a mentor is going to provide you with a support system, somebody to bounce ideas off, somebody who, it's a third party that's not emotionally connected to your business. So they're going to listen to your ideas and perhaps critique some of the more impractical aspects and they're going to offer you solutions that you didn't think of. Talk with us about the development of the mentorship relationship. To me, the key thing, it's like a marriage. You, to me, you, you've got to find somebody who understands your business, who has some practical knowledge in your area, some expertise, uh, or expertise they can readily tap into as far as resources, because every business is individual in its needs and its little idiosyncrasies. So developing a relationship, you need somebody who understands your business. You also need to get along with this person and respect them, their time and their, um, their expertise. In many cases, mentors are volunteering and people can take them for granted. So respecting them and what they're giving you is, is very important. Is it possible for a mentorship relationship to be mutually beneficial? As somebody who has mentored in different areas, um, for me it's important to be working with somebody because th that we do connect with because being a mentor we are volunteering our time and if we work together well and see you succeed that gives us a great inner satisfaction also it gives us more experience and more stories that we can share with others when we're mentoring other people so we're getting the emotional satisfaction and we're getting the learning ourselves for the mentee it's going to teach you to be accountable. It's going to 
give you a support system, you are going to gain incredible experience and knowledge from this person. And it's going to teach you that maybe further down the road, you yourself might be opening, open to mentoring somebody. And it's going to teach you the importance of sharing your knowledge and expertise and giving back. Have you got some tips for both the protege and the mentor? One of the important things is respecting each other's time. So the sessions should be, they should have a time frame. Really important, I think at first, to sit down and work through a system of goals, almost like a business plan for your mentorship program. Mm -hmm. What are the goals we hope to achieve? how do you think you can achieve them and in what time frame? Because a mentor normally can only allocate a certain amount of time for you. So respecting each other's time and also I think you need to have at the end of each session your mentor needs to give you some homework and needs to make you accountable. I found we have a writing group here where I live that I have joined and it's turned my writing around. It's made me accountable because twice a month, no matter how busy my life is, and I, I go off on a million different tangents, but I know that, okay, Wednesday's coming up, I better get that something written ready for the group. What final thoughts would you share with those considering entering into a mentorship relationship? If, you're, if you feel that you need somebody in your life who's going to be there to support you, brainstorm with, who can give you possible solutions to your problems, then I, mentorship is so important. It will teach you that accountability, it'll teach you that respect, it'll give you a plan. They'll help you plan with your business. They will help critique you. When I stop and think about it, I would not have had the success I have with my writing without mentors. And I've watched what a, a mentor can do in a formal mentorship program and being a mentor and seeing the difference in the learning processes that you're not privy to when you first start a business. You're tapping into somebody with vast experience way beyond your years and in a lot of cases it's not going to cost you much money. So my, my, I just, I say go for it. Do it and you will succeed. Now it's your turn to share your experience with mentorship. Visit our blog ProVision Mentorship Make the investment in mentorship today for your success tomorrow.